if I was to ask you a question, and that question was, what are you? Simply, what are you? What would you answer? Would you say that I'm a man, I'm a woman, I'm a father, uh, I'm a son, I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, I'm an aunt, I'm an uncle, I'm a human, I'm a person? What would you answer? Well, ultimately it wouldn't really matter what you answered, because you've already been designated something. You've already been given a term here in Canada. Legally, they have placed a designation upon you. And when they look at you, and when they deal with you, they are looking at you and dealing with you through this designation. Now, you're probably not even aware of what this designation is that they've given you, and you probably, on one hand, don't even care up till now. Hopefully, you're starting to question what's going on. And hopefully, you're starting to see for yourself that there's been some fishy games being played against you and against your human rights here in Canada. It may not seem like what I'm talking about is an important matter, but if you invest a little bit of your time here at this site and start to look at what's going on, you're going to see that it's a very important matter. In fact, it's a foundational issue for your own life personally. Because if you're being treated through the designation that the government is recognizing you as, then you are being placed into bondage and you are being controlled. And if you can't bear witness with that statement, then there's something wrong with you. Because all of us, all of us have felt the effects of the government's control upon our lives. Whether it's been through a tax bill, whether it's been through tickets that have been issued to us, or whether it's been through other forms of control that they are using against us. Well, you will begin to see that it's not actually a man and woman or a human being that the government is dealing with. Now I know that may sound a little crazy, but up to this point, no one has taught you, no one has showed you what is going on. So please just permit me five minutes here in this video as you watch it to help you to understand what is going on. And afterwards, after you've seen this video, if you did not comprehend and you still think that this is ridiculous, then by all means, you're free to leave the site. But five minutes of your life is not a great deal of time. Thank you. So. The designation that the government is giving to all of us is the word person. Person. Now I'm sure you've heard that word before throughout life. And up till now, I'm sure you never took note of it. It's just another word that's used often. Let me explain to you a little something about that innocent word that you've used. Black Laws, Ninth Edition. Person. A human being, also termed natural person. Black Laws, 9th edition, Artificial Person, an entity such as a corporation created by law and given certain legal rights and duties of a human being. A being, real or imaginary, who, for the purpose of legal reasoning, is treated more or less as a human being. A person, the legal meaning of a person, the lawful meaning of a person, in Black Law's dictionary, it's a human. A human or a man. Now, another definition for the word person in Black Law's dictionary would be a legal person, which is considered an artificial person, or an entity. An entity. Look at that word, entity. This legal person is given certain rights and freedoms like a human being. So it has limited rights and freedoms and it tries to mimic a human being. But it's considered an entity and it's artificial. So every time you say the word person, you can either refer to the word meaning your human being, your man or woman, or to the legal person who has certain rights and freedoms and is an entity and is not you. Black Laws Edition 9 Corporation An entity entity having authority under law to act as a single person distinct from the shareholders. So a corporation is an entity. A 
corporation, a business, is considered a legal person under law. They are considered entities, any business, any businesses. And these, these legal persons who are considered entities have been given certain rights, certain rights. So when you say the word McDonald's or you talk about the restaurant McDonald's or you talk about the restaurant Kentucky Fried Chicken, what you're designating in law would be a legal person, a legal person. Now, as you see in black laws, it says that a person can either mean a legal person or a human, a human. Well, here in Canada, when you're walking on the streets and when you refer to yourself as a person, if you are dealing with anybody in the position of the government or anybody who represents a so-called de facto authority, when you use the word person, you're automatically designating yourself. You're saying that you are a legal person, an entity under law with only certain rights. That's what you're saying. So when you say, oh, those pe persons over there, or you say, I am a person, if you d don't qualify it and say that you mean that you're a human, you're saying that you are a legal entity with limited, limited freedoms and limited rights. And those limited freedoms and limited rights are expressed every day because people are governed all over this land. They get tickets, they get stopped for speeding, and we, the list can go on and on. It's because they're being regulated, limited, and treated like a legal person in law. The Interpretation Act of Canada application. Every provision in this Act applies unless a contrary intention appears to every enactment whether enacted before or after the commencement of this Act. Interpretation Act of Canada, Article 35. Person or any word or expression descriptive of a person includes, now you see that word with an S, includes a corporation. In Canada, there's something called the Interpretation Act of Canada. And if you want to look at what it really is, it's a law that is above most of the other laws. It is what you first must read if you are going to interpret other laws, or if you're going to look to understand other laws for yourself. And in that Interpretation Act of Canada, it defines the word person. It says, the word person includes a corporation. Includes a corporation. Now, that word includes, it's a specific application. The way the word is used, includes, this is what it means. Black Laws, 9th edition. Expressio unius e exclusio alterius. A canon of construction holding that to express one or include one thing implies the exclusion of the other or of the alternative. So if you mention one thing, whatever is being mentioned, that is the only thing that can be referred to. And that's what you see when you see the word includes. So because they use the word includes and they said corporation, and that's what is mentioned, the corporation, that's all that the word person can mean. So most of the time, when you're being referred to on the street as a person, it is indeed the legal person that they are referring to, the legal person. Now, the Interpretation Act doesn't mention the other designation or the other role that describes a person, which is a human being. It's actually canceled out because it says here that person only means corporation. So, in all of these rules that the government is using to try and regulate you and control you, they, most of them only refer to the legal person. Only. And up till now, you have not been aware of that. And you have been allowed to be controlled by these laws because you do not know that there's a distinction and that they are playing a game on you. Based on the covenants, the laws that are out there, a human, he is free. And a human has intrinsic rights. However, however, a legal person, which is the role that we are playing here in Canada, unless you step up and make a, a distinction between this role, this legal person is considered an entity. 
And this entity is in bondage. It's being controlled. And it has limitations placed around it. That's what this entity offers you. Black Laws, First Edition, Bondage, Slavery, Involuntary Personal Servitude, Captivity. Black Laws, Seventh Edition, Bound, a limitation or restriction on action. So, a limitation or restriction on your actions that you can take. Black Laws, Seventh Edition, Control. To exercise power or influence over. To, to regulate or govern. Black Laws, 7th edition, Limit. A restriction or restraint. A boundary or defining line. The extent of power, right, or authority. Limitation. The act of limiting. The state of being limited. A restriction. It's better to be recognized as a human with the intrinsic rights than as that legal entity being held in bondage. The legal person, it does not have liberty. It is stuck obeying the statutes and the regulations. But the great thing is, you don't have to be recognized as that legal artificial being in law. We are all born men and women. We are all born free. And the law grants us the right to take that designation and to take that freedom that afforded to us. Black Laws 7th edition Liberty Freedom from arbitrary or undue external restraint by a government A private privilege or immunity enjoyed by prescription or by grant The absence of a legal duty imposed on a person liberty.